It's nice to use a good saw. Not just because it behaves really well, but because I have a better conscience as well. It drives me crazy when I think how many millions of these this type of saws are made each year and end up in landfill. You think of the embodied energy and the plastic handles. You think of the, the low grade steel here, which is, which is used, and that goes into landfill too. It just seems to me environmental to be totally mad. The handles are ergonomically all wrong. They're just not made to work well. You look at old traditional saws, they're gonna be shaped very differently to this. So these are for people who don't know how to use saws, I reckon. They're just awful in your hands. And if you use it all day, it'd be really uncomfortable. The backs on these are so thin. The whole idea with having that nice heavy back there is it puts a bit of weight in the saw, but particularly it keeps the saw plate straight for really accurate cutting of joints. You can pick these ones up off the shelf and they'll be bent because they've just got no substance to them. The other thing with these, it's a low grade steel, so they put these fantastically sharp teeth on here, but when they're dull, you can't sharpen them. And that's why they get chucked out. So to me, environmentally, these make no sense at all. In fact, I can't use these with a clear conscience because of the waste of resources, all that embodied um, fossil fuels in the plastic, all of that steel, chuck them out when they're done. But when you get hold of a good quality saw, like we've got the Spear and Jackson, we've got Crown, Veritas. They are saws that you buy for life. You can buy one of these and it's not only good for you, it's good for your children, for your grandchildren, because they're made to last. You can resharpen these. The nice heavy brass back here gives it that weight, which helps while you're sawing, but it also keeps the saw plate nice and straight. So that's another bonus. And of course the handles. They're made, they fit really well in your hand. So that works really well. You can work with these all day because it's shaped for the hand. There's a reason why they are shaped as they are. Same with the crown. These crown saws, again, we've got that nice heavy back, the brass back. We've got this saw plate here good quality steel so it can be sharpened again and again for generations. We've got a nice handle which sits well in the hand and so what you're buying here is a saw for life when you buy a good quality saw. Case in point, here's a Spear and Jackson. That is a Spear and Jackson. It's well over 100 years old. That's a Spear and Jackson which was built made after the Second World War. That's the Spear and Jackson, which likewise is well over 100 years old. So this saw, well over 100 years ago, was probably hanging in a shop. It's still going. There's no reason why this Spear and Jackson, likewise, can't still be working well in the hands of another woodworker in more than 100 years time, it's because it's a good quality saw. You buy a good saw, it's a saw for life, and the planet will thank you too. So the great thing about buying a good quality saw is you can buy a saw and it'll do you for life. One saw for life is better than buying lots of them and throwing them out at the cost of the environment. So these saws are good enough quality to be able to be resharpened again and again for generations if they're looked after. And I, for me, I just think that sits much more comfortably with my commitment to sustainable living and being environmentally responsible as a woodworker. So yep, it's always nice to have a good quality saw.